morning, children. Not long ago, you saw me here in my Pathfinder uniform telling you a children's story. So today, guess what? I'm telling the story again. I'm going to start with a question. How many of you knows what this is? A ring. Is it any kind of ring? It's a? It's a wedding ring. Do you know what a wedding ring means or why people they use a wedding ring? Do you? Should we ask the adults? Should we? Else. Um, would you be so kind to tell us what the wedding ring is used for and what it means? They usually use it when they get married. Does it have a special? <laughs> Does it have a special meaning? Yes, it's a commitment. It's a commitment. Said. It's a commitment. And what do we commit when we get married? We commit ourselves to each other. Husband and wife commit themselves to each other and keep their promises that they made. We keep the promises that we made. For how long? Forever. Forever. <laughs> Until death do us part. We keep this promise forever. Yes. Did you ever made a promise? Did you? Do we, do we make, like you, the children, do you make promise? Like, did you ever promise to your mom that you will clean your room? You never promised. <laughs> Marco, <laughs> did you ever promise your mom that you will clean your room? Did you keep that promise? Did you ever keep a secret that your best friend told you? Did somebody broken a promise that made to you? How did you felt? Elizabeth, I saw that you were nodding. How did you feel when somebody... Um, very, like, I, I couldn't trust her any, anymore. Anybody else? There you go, Nathan. Upset. Upset. Sad? Upset? Disappointed? Well, in the Bible, God made a lot of promises to us. But today I'm going to tell you about one promise that God made to Noah. And I believe everyone here knows the story of Noah, how God sent a great flood to destroy everything that he created because people, they turned wicked and evil and they disobeyed God and at some moment God felt sad disappointed so he decided to start again Noah made the ark and in the ark who went in two of each animal and bird Noah and his family. Do you know why Noah had the privilege to go in the ark? He was the only good man because he was right and he walked with God. And when the waters went down and they saw the earth again, the ark stopped. All the animals went out and Noah and his family. And God made a promise to Noah. He promised that never, ever, ever again he will destroy the life by a flood. And he said, as a sign between this covenant, between me and you, I will put in the clouds the the rainbow. Can you look up there? 
Can you see the rainbow? Does everybody see the rainbow just on top of the TV? Can you see the rainbow? Can you? <laughs> let, me, let me read the text from the Bible this morning where the God made, made this promise, yes? So, the text is in Genesis 9, verse 11 and 13. Thus, I shall establish my covenant with you. Never again shall all flesh be cut off by waters of the flood. Never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. I set my rainbow in the cloud, and it shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. I would like to pray with you this morning. Is one of you that would like to come here and thank God for the rainbow, that every time we see the rainbow, we remember that all his promises that he left us in the Bible are true. And he will always keep these promises towards us. One of you? Not everybody at the same time, just one. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for bringing us here safely. Please keep your promise to never flood the world again. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. 